now we're on the road. Alright, we just made our last stop of the night. We filled up the bus, we filled up the gas can, we filled up the generator. There's another thunderstorm coming in, so we're going to drive down just another 30-45 minutes. There's another rest stop. We are at the Clarence travel area for the night. I'm going to set up and bunker down the whole bus, lock it up, make sure we're all safe and secure. Well, I doubt that's where Fraser's going to sleep. I think he thinks we're just stopping for a little bit. But I got a buddy in Vegas who's going to tint my windows. But for now, we've just got some reflective stuff hanging up. Thor's probably going to end up sleeping there. That's our mobile Jackery battery that we were talking about. In here, we've got the dog's water and food. That little blue thing is our pop-up washing machine. That is our toilet. Fridge is all bungeed down. Those are our rechargeable mini ACs so we don't have to burn electricity. Um, if it gets a little hot tonight, maybe I'll turn one on. But the AC for now is off. Our tower fan is off. It's pretty cool in here. Got my clothes stored. I got my ring light, some books, my scale. You know we got the Xbox set up. Generator's bumping out here. Until I install a new one. This is our backdoor security system. Bang, bang. Good luck opening that, fuckers. Alright, you want some food? Sit. Sit. All right, the dogs are fed, the generator's all set up. I forgot to actually turn it on. I just filled it with gas. One sec. All right, now the generator's on. Time to check my weight, because yes, that's still very important. I gotta switch the fridge, just take the plug out of the mobile battery and back into the generator. Um, it's not sunny today, it's a little cooler. When it gets sunny, I gotta plug that back in to make sure that it gets charged. That thing is a lifesaver. All right. Scale set up. I was 185.6 or 7, I forget. 185 point something yesterday when I took off. Let's see today. One eighty four point five. I'll take that. I get to lose a pound while driving cross country. I did have a bag of MMs yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. Um when I took my last fight, I was 184.3 and I missed weight by 0.2 pounds, and I've been bulking up and lifting like crazy and eating ever since. So the fact that I'm still around that weight and three times as strong is really, really good. It makes me super happy. And yeah, time to make some breakfast. Got this nice little burner right here. I'll end up using. Let's turn on this propane first. All right, now that that's on. Crack open a window real quick. And then, just hit one of these. So I had to go buy a lighter to light the stove, but we got it on. We got the turkey bacon going, scramble up some eggs, and I'll grab a coffee. All right, we're just taking the dogs out at the rest stop before we hit the road. It's our last stop at the rest stop. And then I gotta find a Dunkin' Donuts because I didn't buy any coffee before I came out. And of course, this one doesn't have a dunce. So, that's next. All right, so we're back on the road. We're passing Erie. I think we're gonna be right by Lake Erie in a couple minutes. Game plan today, get out of 
out of New York, make it to Ohio. It says 200 something miles or 167 miles until I'm at Cleveland. Originally the route said we were gonna go 2,000 miles straight to California, but I guess it might be traffic or found a different route. It's just the way of the road. I know Machine Gun Kelly's got a coffee shop in Cleveland. If I go by it, I'm definitely gonna stop uh, just for the pictures. But we got breakfast, we got the gas, we got everything. We got coffee number three of the trip. Only number one of the day. I don't know how many it's gonna take. I mean, if, if we can do this across the whole country, I'm not gonna complain. <clears throat> it's been pretty cool too. A lot of people have been hitting me up. I'm not gonna lie, before I left, I was pretty anxious and like nervous. Like this was all my plan. Like I wanted to convert a van or a bus or something to make it out to AKA because I have the animals and I can't just leave them at home for my dad and my friends to take care of. Mostly because my dogs are prima donnas. But it's also just not their job, they're my dogs. So I needed something that was gonna have the air conditioning for that California weather. Granted, down Massachusetts is hotter than Cali. We finally got the bus together and I was pretty nervous, you know, just, I don't know why, like the night before I left, I just like thought of the entire trip and you just think like, I've flown across country so many times, but I usually fall asleep on the flight there. But flying, like it's so stupidly obvious, but you're just like, you're there. Like as much as long flights suck, like compared to this, like you're just, you jump in a plane and you're there. It's like going to the store down the street. So just thinking about the long drive and it was so hot in Massachusetts. I was like, am I gonna be able to keep the bus cool enough for the dogs? But right now I don't even have the AC on. They're sitting right next to me. I got this whole curtain set up in the back to like make the back end cooler. And they don't even care. They're sitting right next to me, they're hanging out. But yeah, it's been nice. Yeah, man. I was, I was pretty anxious about the trip, but I'm feeling pretty good now. I can't wait to get out to AKA. A lot of people have been hitting me up. People that I didn't think would hit me up. Either saying, if you're my way on your way to California, you need a place to stay, come stay with us. I'm jealous of you, I wish I could do it. Not in like a, I'm actually jealous, but like a, like good for you, man. Like I'm glad that you get to do it. Just the like, wow, that's so cool. Good luck, safe trip, you got this. I think that's about it for now. Dogs are chilling. Everybody's doing good. Okay, so we're making another stop. Uh, we just got into Ohio. We're not stopping for gas. Well, we're gonna get gas because we're here. But we're stopping for the dogs. They're ripping. It smells terrible in here. So I gotta let them out. Figured I might as well make lunch because I don't have to stop in like an hour or so when I get real hungry. And then we can just cruise on until probably around 8 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock right now. And yeah, and then we'll rest up. Got some trifecta chicken breasts. Just gotta start up the grill real quick. Little Flavor Republic Soul Cal rub. Stuff right here. parking lot I 
I did find that had a couple spots wanted forty dollars, and it was right next to Twenty Seven Club Coffee. So forty dollars on top of a coffee, on top of whatever T-shirt I probably would have ended up buying, it just wasn't worth it to me. Um, Shawnee's gonna be flying out to meet me in a couple weeks, and whenever we head back to Massachusetts, if we come by Ohio, then I'll probably stop with her, because then it's a little bit more worth it, because it's for the both of us. I just have a hard time spending money on myself. So 50 plus dollars for a cup of coffee and a cool picture for Instagram, this isn't gonna do it for me, honestly. So it's finally sunny out, so we're gonna set up our solar panels. I think it's on like 40%, 30%, something like that. And it's been raining the whole time, so it's a perfect time to get a charge, get it going, feed the dogs. I wanna stop for super long, but I gotta take advantage of the sun where I can. So this is our Jackery portable battery right here. They fold up, pretty cool. These are our Jackery solar panels, and they have an outlet on the back for your phone. They got a wire to plug right into that battery. They can do whatever. Just a little cable to go on the battery. And then you just toss them up on the roof. I see there's some clouds coming, so I gotta get some charging in while I can. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that. We're at 29%. We got about 15 watts coming in. Uh, you can get a lot more in the sunshine. Of course, as soon as I put them out, a couple big clouds come rolling in. And we'll see what the sun does. If the sun decides to go away and not come back, then we'll uh, pack up and hit the road. As I was talking about earlier, one of our biggest problems was keeping stuff stable. We've suffered our first casualty. The air fryer has been killed in action. It rolled off the bed, onto the counter, off the counter, and onto the floor, and has cracked. Fortunately, considering this is what contains the heat, I don't think we're gonna be able to save her. Will I duct tape it and try it one more time? More than likely, I have a fire extinguisher, don't worry. These guys have cleared up. It's been a tough day since I didn't get that coffee in Cleveland like I wanted to. And yesterday just kind of caught up to me. So I think if I make tonight a little bit of a shorter night, especially because I'm going to stream, then I can just get right back to it tomorrow a little early. Also, breaking the, the air fryer really kind of just like sucked. I'm in Ohio still. I have no idea where. I'm on that straight show. I just passed the sign. That said, speed enforced by aircraft. I have no idea what that means. Like, is there somebody flying over us right now? Or like, like somebody just called a UAV in on me? I don't understand. But the speed limit's 50, and everybody's passing me doing at least 70, including the big rigs. I rest my case.
bad boy came undone while I was zooming down the highway. That's all figured out. I'm gonna retighten it. I just bought some more tools. Um, I'm gonna be here for the night. I was gonna drive another hour or two after I played some COD, but it doesn't seem like that's really happening. Don't mind my fluffy pillow, it's from my girlfriend, but this shit is comfy. Um, so I'm just gonna hang out with the boys and play some Warzone offline, and we'll get the streams going ASAP, and we'll be back on the road tomorrow. Fraser's already ready for bed. Let's go see where Thor's sleeping. Thor, what are you doing, buddy? What is you doing, my man? It's okay. All right. 8.50, Saturday, July 3rd. Oh, I'm probably going to start hitting traffic for 4th of July. I didn't even think of that. I didn't really get as many hours on the road yesterday as I would have liked. So today... Oh, hey, you go, boys. Try and get like a 9 to 9. You know, nice 12 hours. Probably like at 9.30 to 9.30. Because I got to make breakfast, feed them and stuff. Um, morning, Thor. Thor. Good morning. I didn't get a chance to uh, fully charge my backup battery as much as I would have liked. So, we're gonna try and get some sun with it right now. Oh, it's a little breezy. So, you know what we'll do? Just we'll put them in the front by the windshield. Luckily enough for me, it's a perfect fit. Do this. Ta da! Yeah, listen to that sizzle. I think the best part, I'll get used to it. I keep saying that. I keep bumping my head. Uh, I think the best part about cooking bacon in here is the whole back of the bus smells like bacon afterwards. That could be just me. Um, but as long as you're making bomb food, it smells pretty good. And there you go. It's your breakfast of champions. Two eggs, two turkey bacon, a little protein bar, and a cold brew coffee. Gotta love it. Sitting at the gas pump right now gonna fill up I'm a little under a quarter of a tank fill up that and then once you put some road behind us coffee number five by the way we are half 
way through Indiana, maybe three quarters now. Um, I'm hoping to make it through Illinois afterwards. I got a buddy in Casca. I said I could stay with him for the fourth. If uh, I need a place to park tonight, I can go there. And he's going to have the buddy throwing a barbecue tomorrow. So I didn't plan on making a stop this early. Um, but I saw a sign and it said last rest area. So I'm figuring in the state or the, from now on it's going to be all the sketchy truck stops. Um, but I wasn't sure. So I figured I got a half a tank of gas. Screw it. I might as well go, right? Um, but anyways, I figured screw it. I grabbed another coffee too. We'll get to that though. But when I went in the store, it was another 7-Eleven. I grabbed it and I put it on the counter. And this like wicked stoner looking kid was working. And he goes, that it? And I was like, yeah, that's it. And I pull out my card. He goes, you're all set. And I was like, what? And he's like, I really don't give a fuck. And I was like, okay. And I just I fucking stormed out of there. stop thought they'd have gas here pretty much sucks if they don't but we'll be fine till the next one i think uh had to take the dogs out and take them for a quick walk i know they're getting a little restless it's getting a little hot in the front of the bus so i think i'm gonna put them both on the bed in the back kind of force them to stay in the cool area so i'm not gonna lie the last like 10 15 minutes i've been freaking out i don't know if you can hear that rattling it was like rattle like crazy so i'm thinking here it is down in the middle of America. Nobody I know nearby. It's a little panel above my head that I need to open up to get into all the, the uh, relays and everything like that. One of the knobs, the hook is broken, so it doesn't secure it completely. And the other one isn't broken, but they both came out. So, you just hold it shut and it goes away. But I was having a fucking panic attack, I swear. away from my buddy Michael's house in Nebraska. Uh, it's four hours, but I'm expecting us to have to stop. I'm gonna get gas right now. The boy's gonna have to go out. But it smells like cannabis is legal in Iowa. 
and I'm gonna go do my research and if it is I'm gonna have to explore uh, the legality of it. Did I use that right? I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just making sure everything's tightening up. We're about halfway across the country right now or at least halfway to AKA. It might be past halfway point in the country but we gotta go west and then south so I think we're at least about halfway there. Um, so I just want to make sure everything's tightened up so that the rest of the ride can go just as smooth as the first half. Congratulations, you played yourself. So let's go explore. My wheel went flying. Oh my god. We slid. I really hope my back axle is not destroyed. We slid. We stayed upright. We didn't spin. Oh my god, man. Woo. I am. I am sweating. I just watched my tire bounce 70 miles an hour down the highway. And it's a double. It's a double tire. Holy fuck. I am camping on the side of the road tonight, apparently. Until somebody comes to tell me. Oh my god. I hope the traffic starts slowing down. These people are moving. So, AAA will be here in an hour. They're going to tow me to a AAA approved shop. Of course, it's the weekend. Tomorrow's July 4th. I don't think the shop's going to be open, and they're probably not going to be open on the 4th. So I might be sleeping in my broke-down bus until the 5th, and then I'll be sitting at this garage until they give me my bill on the 5th. Happy birthday to me. Um, way of the road, brother. At almost the exact three-quarters mark, too. We'll see. This is what we're working with. That's in the dirt. I really hope that's not flat on the other side. These are all fucking gone. That... My generator and shit still hasn't touched the ground. I bet my water boxes are destroyed. My spigot's still there. Now we gotta go look for the fucking tire. Um... So this wheel is gone, there's no shot I'm finding it. I can't even see an indent where it could have landed, so it was bouncing, it could be way over that friggin' fence. So I'm just chilling in the back of the bus, the dogs are sleeping, state police is here just hanging out with me, calling shops, looking for new tires and wheels, mine is gone. like. 20 feet bouncing over them in the woods. I have no idea where it went. I can't even see an indent in the grass or the trees or anything where it could have went. 
The cop just came and told me the tow truck will be here in about two and a half hours. And it looks like I'm going to be camping at a truck stop for about two days while they find my wheel. We found the tire, like a new one, but we need to find a new wheel because mine is an MIA. The dogs are asleep, bro. I can't believe it. I'm pretty fucking tired, but if I fall asleep, even that cop can't wake me up when AAA shows up or whoever's towing me. Um, I think there's a, a Walmart near where he's towing me, the cop said. So tomorrow we take another trip into Walmart and we hang and we call around anybody that's open and look for that wheel. And then Monday, I'm going to see if they have beer at the Walmart like the last one I was at. Monday I'll have a drink, hang out, gas station it up, play some Xbox with the boys, sleep until Tuesday. Tuesday we're going to, we might go fucking 16 hours. Um... We got a lot of making up to do, and they'll get my car in on Tuesday morning. So we're still parked outside the garage, obviously. And I woke up this morning and kind of forgot. And it all happened. Because I was, like, ready to hit the road. Um, I'm just going to feed the dogs, make some breakfast, probably work out. They got some big-ass tires out here, so. I think I'll do some tire flips and shadow boxing. The jump rope and stuff. Um clean up in here because some of the stuff still kind of thrown all over the place and then I'll probably get underneath the bus again and uh, just make sure it's not all fucked up you know what I mean so yeah and then I gotta put the solar panels out I gotta put the generator on and then I'll probably take the gas tank and walk up the road to the gas station oh, yeah and yesterday the tow truck driver was rushing me so fast to unbolt my trailer hitch tray that I uh, gashed the back of my leg and I did a little band-aid with just like a paper towel and a uh, piece of Gorilla Tape. So that's going to rip some leg hair off and I think it stopped bleeding, but like my whole foot is covered in blood. But we'll clean all that up today too. Alright, so I got the generator hooked up, I filled it with gas, fridge is plugged in, AC is plugged in, I'm going to charge everything. Um, Gas tank's empty, so I'm gonna have to walk into town and go fill it up. And uh, I gotta feed the dogs to take them out. I also gotta wrap up my ankle, like a real wrap up. I got a first aid kit on the wall up there, but I just gotta unbolt it from the thing. Luckily enough, bought one of these, so go do that. All right, so that's the aftermath. I had a bunch of blood running down my leg. Just gotta untape it and we'll see what it looks like. The tape hurts more than anything. This is gonna rip off a lot when I can. Oh yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, come on. Duct tape, baby. The world's band aids. You know what I might do? Pause. enough it's not deep it's just a good scrape a long ways down and this bus came with a bodily fluid cleanup kit this is gonna suck so bad So bad. Oh, stinks so bad. Yes, I am being a little bit of a bitch. And like the cop and the tow guy just like didn't give me a heads up. And then I was like, why is my leg wet? And I looked down. That's why. All right, so we'll throw that in there. Oh, that stings like a son of a bitch. Oh my god.
It's gonna be great looking at Washington. Oh, so we've got tape, okay. It's only about a little bit nice. And now, Doctor, maybe another round. Then over anchors, and then over. Sorry. There's an anchor down around the heel. And then the best thing. And that's just a nice. It's not very medicinal. So I'm probably gonna go to duct tape next. I know I said duct tape. I'm an electrical. Uh, this shit is just so tight. I mean, come on. I can move it. It only hurts a little bit. That duct tape in my sleep last night was terrible. Look at that. Now I'll clean up the rest of the blood later. It just wasn't coming off. Alright, now that my foot's all done up. Um, yeah, it's dirty. I was walking outside this morning. We'll close up my little hospital here. And uh, get the dogs fed and make some breakfast. I'm hoping Tuesday night I get out of here. If they find my wheel, Wednesday at the absolute latest. Luckily enough, we are parked in the shade next to the building, so it's not going to get super hot in here, which I was super worried about because it's just hot. We got some shade. It's a little warm in the front, but we've got the curtain that's splitting and the AC on, so it's keeping it really cool in the back, and the dogs have finally figured out it's a lot nicer back here. We've got our jackery outside, collecting some energy in the sun. It's beaming out there, so that's freaking awesome. That'll be charged in a couple hours, if that. All right, so this is day three, or day four, morning three. I don't know, however you want to look at it. I left in the afternoon. Whipping up breakfast. We actually have some food today, some good food. We can actually make a good meal. We got more eggs. We still got turkey bacon, some bread, some iced coffee. Let's get it going. Right, so it's starting to get warm in the front of the bus and Thor won't hang out back here again. So I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to put them on the bed to force them to hang out in the cold air. Then I'm going to go check on the solar power generator. I'm going to check the gas on the regular generator and then go into town and get some gas. So this is our residence for the next few days. That's the shop. Those are all their tires. We've got a Dollar General right there and a bunch of fields. Some farmlands at Dollar General. I don't know what's beyond the hill. Rather not look, honestly. Not bad. Time to lace up. The sun's moving, so the bus is kind of in the sun now. Um, I'm gonna go check on the solar panels. If they're not done yet, I'll probably just put the battery in the door and leave the panels out and hope nobody comes up and steals them because I gotta get them charged. And then generator, as long as it's at like a quarter or a half, I should be fine, have enough time to walk down the road into town, get gas and come back. And then I'll probably run down again and do some shopping. Now we're walking into town. But yeah, just walking into town. It's probably a quarter mile up the road. Not crazy far. I just gotta cross over the freeway real quick. Not like really cross over, but you know what I mean. That sure looks a hell of a lot further than it did last night. It might be like a quarter mile. I think I was right. Maybe it's just a lot because of the highway. All right, so that was quick. Probably like 15 minutes. I broke the rules of the road. Guy pulled over. Creepy looking dude. You ever seen that show Monk? That's what he looked like. Shirtless in his car. Car sounded like shit. Little Chrysler 300. And uh, I only got in because I had this. Got in. Took me to the gas station down the street. I really didn't need a ride, but it was hot and I was being lazy. Um, filled up. It was 13 bucks. Got in the tank. Started walking back. Woman on a motorcycle stopped me. She goes, do you need a ride anywhere? And I was like, no, no, thank you. Mostly because I've never ridden on the back of a motorcycle since I was like a kid. So I'm just numb. And then a cop pulled over and he was like, we need a ride. Gave him the whole spiel. And he's like, I'll give you a ride. Just get in. I got in, took me back here. He was like, you need anything? You call 911. And I was like, do you have a number? And he was like, just call 911. We'll make it down. And I was like, he was like, anything at all. Okay. Not much happened today. Um, I didn't end up working out because 
the day just got away from me and I'm pretty tired just sitting around doing nothing sucks hopefully this shop is open tomorrow we can do some research and find my wheel um, if not I might order one myself online after I go to town and buy a measuring tape but we'll see and it's now my birthday July 5th so happy birthday to me